Hey, wonderful people, we're back here again talking about law of attraction stuff. Today, we're talking about free will. A lot of people are discussing whether other people in your life have free will once you are manifesting something. Should you let other people have free will in your reality? Some people say no, I want them to say exactly what I want to say, so I'm going to force the situation on them to make them say the things that I want to say. I think this is going about it wrong, This because this is not what's actually happening. You're not forcing people to do things. You're not a voodoo queen. You're not sticking a pin in their throat and making them say things. <laughs> that's not, that's not what, what, what's happening here. What's happening here is that you are picking a reality where they are doing exactly what you want. Or you're actually creating a reality that didn't even previously exist where they are saying those things and doing those things. Yes. That is, the, the power of a human being is, 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 it's quite immense. One day we're going to know and we're going to be like, wow, we used to think we were nothing. <laughs> but yes, your ability to create, and this is your reality. So, of course, God is like, he's handing you the keys. He's like, dude, this is, this is your life. You can have everything you want. And I'm giving you the opportunity to have everything you want the way you want. But you have to do the work, too, to prove that you're worthy of this in a way. Uh, well, really, that's to us. God, you know, it, it's a work in progress so that we actually manifest it and so that we actually feel like we can do it and so that the we actually can do it because there's things this is the physical universe you have to learn to do things in order to do things you just can't believe you can ride a bicycle or um do brain surgery and just walk in there and do it <laughs> you have to actually do other things precursors to learn and to grow and to develop in order to do those other things. This is the way the three dimensions work. So we are given the ability to do that. And in that ability, we have time and we have the ability to create a reality as we go. Okay, so that's where we are with what we are discussing as free will. It's not that people have or don't have free will and that you are forcing them to do something and not do something with your, you know, strength of manifestational powers. It's that we are aligning within ourselves to a reality where they say those things and do those things that we want. That's what we're doing. We're not forcing them. We're meeting them, like meeting them on a street. I'm going to be on Main Street at 2 o'clock. They agree to be there. That's how this stuff works. And that's how this manifestational stuff works. You say what you want to hear them saying, or you write it down, or you vision board it, or whatever, or you're just thinking it in your mind, or you're desiring it. Whatever technique you use, that they are saying and doing the things that you want them to do. So now you are going towards that. And if there is a version of them, and there is a version of them. <laughs> Unless it's something really out there you're thinking. There's almost always a version of them. The uh, it's, all, it's a near infinite possibility that people have that people will choose to do different things. So don't worry about whether there's a version of them doing that. It's about you being able a version of you to do to be the person that meets that version of them there. If you doubt it, if you uh, have other issues where you are in resistance or something like that, yeah, you might not meet them there. But there is a version of them being like that there. That's what we're doing. It's not about free will. Yes, they do have free will. They have enormous free will to do whatever they want. And so do you. But they don't meet up 
with you at random. You pick a place that you want to meet up with them and you link up with them. You want them to say this and that's the only free will that you allow. I mean, you don't allow. I don't want my... I've lived where it was all chaos, right? I've done chaos already. It's not great, okay? It's basically your subconscious and it just picks things and throws things out there and it's not great. You don't want to do that. You don't want to live like that. You want to live in a conscious world where you're consciously picking what people are saying and doing and what consciously what you're having and consciously what you're being because that's where your your fulfillment and your happiness in, in life is going to be. That's where your success in life is going to be. It's not in the subconscious randomness that's in your subconscious. So, no, they don't have free will, but they do have free will. Because they're choosing everything, too. They're going to say, you know, they are going to say everything in the world as well. They're going to say all the things that they could say, a whole spectrum of things they could say and do. They are going to choose all of those in some respect. However, you're going to meet them in one place because you're going to say, I want them to be like this and I want them to say this and I want them to do this and that's the only place, that's the only version of them that I am going to accept. Boom! You've done it at that point. That's this technique, and that's the difference between free will. You don't have to debate on whether free will exists in, in your universe. It's not about whether they have free will to choose. It's about whether you have free will to choose in your own life. Are you giving yourself, yourself that freedom? A lot of people don't, and it's hard to believe. It's hard to have faith in this new stuff, but it's there. If you want it, if you try it, a lot of people would find it so hard to just try to just say and just like, okay, I'll try or, or they try it for a week or they try it weekly. Right. No, I don't mean like every week. I mean, like <laughs> they don't give it a, they're like, I'm going to say a few things, see if they come true. No, that's not going to work. Go out there, try the stuff, make it work. Say, no, I don't want this or like your life. I, how much do you want to earn? Why don't you just try it? Give it a shot. That's what I did recently with scripting. I didn't think scripting worked. I had tried it several other times, but then I learned a lot of stuff about law of attraction, these kind of techniques, and I added them together, and I, I did some kind of scripting stuff. Here's the book. If I can get it without getting too close to the camera. <laughs> and this is it. This is the book. I tried something new from what I learned from these techniques, and it really, really works. This, this is a game changer in my life. This is huge. This is a miracle right here. Miracles came out of this, made my life better. Yes, it moved the needle big time, okay? Yes, and it did I, I let people say whatever they wanted to say and do whatever they wanted to do? No, there are actual sentences in here saying specifically what I wanted people to do and say. Well, maybe not so specific. I, I went broad in a lot of it and it worked. It worked. So no, I don't give people the ability to do and say whatever they want to say, but I don't, I am not holding on to the belief that I am refraining from giving them free will or they don't have free will. Let's just say I show up where I want them to show up and they show up being exactly as I have written it or manifested in other ways. Done.